So what is it you're going to show us here today? Um, I'm going to show you a couple things. I have some adult fitness equipment, and then I also have some just a diverse group of everything here today. So we have um, hula hoops and jump ropes, sandbags. Um, if you kind of heard that thrown around a lot, that's in some real intense classes and just for fun too. Um, lighters. I'm just throwing out terms, and I'll explain as I go with each one of these. And kettlebells. So uh, we're going to kind of demonstrate each of the things. And I have a couple people here helping me out, some great kids today. Um, this is Sam Mancini. Yay, Sam! This is Isaac Birkin. Isaac. And then we have Riker. Riker. And we have Brian. Riker. So, yeah, yeah. they're all going to help us out today. Who likes the blue? Anybody? Anybody? He started this when he was like maybe five, so it just shows you what age you can start doing this stuff. Maybe even younger than that. He actually won a contest, not a minute. So yeah, he's a, he's a hardcore hula hooper. So um, they also are classes for hula hoopers, believe it or not. Uh, he's right, a lot of really good hula hooping classes. Um, you get really low, you get a good workout with your core and your legs, your arms, so it's very diverse. So let's go ahead, please go ahead and sit down. Do they make weighted hula hoops? Do you need to buy anything like that? Yeah, or? actually they do. This one is not. This is, you know, a basic one. Um, but yeah, you can get weights at it into them. You can find those in stores around the area. Um, the local wise houses too. The wise have a class for them. So but they're a great tool. So okay. very fun too. Okay. So. All right. Next thing we have is a jump rope. There's some that have weights and handles. You said they're about 20 and a half pounds on each handle, which is great. There's the weighted jump ropes that are fully Ooh. weighted all throughout. And then we get the first one. Which Ryan is showing some excellent demonstration of. Nice job. Very, very good. It's okay. Sometimes the carpet, you know, trips you up, so it's okay. It's not happening <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is. Whoa, he did a crisscross. No way, did they catch that? He did a crisscross. Awesome. Oh, I'm so impressed right now. <laughs> you have to watch the length of them, to be honest. Um, and I have that in my classes. We do jump rope as a warm up for cardio a lot. And you really have to watch this if you're taller. Oh, yeah. There's different <laughs> lengths. So, but he did a great job, though. Nice. These are sandbags. Um, usually, you you hear of them, unfortunately, of you know the flooding, things like that. They used to use them as a barrier. You know, build up a wall to the water, keep it back. Well, guess what? They're a really good fitness tool too. So I'm going to show you a couple things you can do with these. These have 40 pounds enough. 40 to 50. 40 to 60 pounds. This guy has 40. Inside. Just so you can see how they're constructed. They actually have separate bags in them of sand. So this is what you fill. You can take as many out as you want. You can increase the amount of weight, add more weight to it. So it's a great thing. Wow. Uh, you know, everybody, every fitness level, you know, they can you know, have it as hard or as, you know, a little bit lighter than they want. There's different grips on it too. You can notice the handle. There's a vertical grip. There is a, a horizontal grip on it. And there's reasons for these too. And there's also outside handle grips. I'll show you a demonstration for each of them. Bear with me, I'm trying to have you this. <laughs> but the first one is called a flip. So you actually take the sandbag, flip it, and press. Okay? So you're hitting a lot of different muscle groups before everything's engaged. That's that one. Any adult want to try it? Here we go. Okay. Michelle's going to do it. Michelle okay. Rose, alwayshelpingmom.com. Now you're going to do a squat. So you're engaging your leg muscles. Go okay. down, squat, and now flip it. Come down, squat again. Now press them up. Nice. Ah, okay. Do a couple. Do at least five. we got to get a little squat on her here. <laughs> nice. Yep, good. Press up again. Good job. Good job. Thank you for demonstrating. Perfect. The next thing I'm going to have is a demonstration on slider. Some people have nicknames for these. Paper plates, posters, uh, we get all sorts of names for them. Looks like a person. Can you throw them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not throw them. Don't throw these. Okay. Um, but we're going to have Sam and Isaac are going to demonstrate. First of all, boys, why don't you come down? I'm going to show you something simple that you can do at home. Um, let's come down and let's do a plank. 
what I showed you boys. Come down on, you can be on your hand. Hold your plank, hold up, hips up a little higher. Good job. And then what that's doing is pull your hips up just a little bit more, boys. Yep. They're working their stomach, they're working their back, they're working their arms, their legs, and everything's working in unison together. Okay, guys, go ahead and come down your elbows. We're going to show another version. Come down your elbows like I told you. There you go. Good job, both of them. Nice job. This is a little bit more advanced level. And this, again, is very good for working your stomach muscles. Good job, guys. We're going to add another level. We're going to make this even harder for us. You boys ready for the next challenge? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead and put your feet on. This one. Make sure you have them on tight. I think you're ready. Feel that? Okay. So they're going to show you what these can do. So go ahead. And in and out. They're doing mountain runners. Has anybody done these before? It's a really good way to get your good job, guys. Good job. Get your cardio up. Nice. Nice job, you guys. And he's showing another demonstration. Go ahead, keep your feet down a little bit more. Yep, you should be in line. Keep your back down a little bit more, right? Good job. It makes it a little bit harder, but it's better to have good form and slow down. That's really important, too. There are two surfaces. If you notice, good job, honey. Keep going. Nice job. She's just going to keep going for the next hour. <laughs> there are two surfaces. This is actually a smooth surface, so it'll slide against carpet. There is another one that's fabric, and that's made for hard surfaces like wood flooring, linoleum flooring, so it can slide better. So you want to watch if you ever do purchase these, um, then you you pick which one is appropriate for the floor you're using it on. Okay? These are kettlebells, um, but kettlebells are actually used to weigh meat um, in the meat market. And people would throw these around like for fun. They toss like I would toss it around like, hey, here's the kettlebell, need the meat out. <laughs> so we would balance it out. So that these are the Part of their daily routine. Um, and now we're starting to adopt this method here. So well, we aren't throwing with each other, right, Ryan? No, okay, I found them. So um, this is a typical, a good start. This is a kettlebell swing. There's all different variations of it. This is a double hand. You want to make sure you have a soft, um, soft squat. You're going to hinge at the hip, and you come up and swing. So that's a kettlebell swing. You can do one arm. Or you can switch. I promise I won't throw them. <laughs> now, Sally, as, a, as opposed to having fun, what are you working doing yeah. that? Yeah, I know. It's great when you're having fun while you're doing things, but it's also great to know that it's functional and you're actually working all your muscle groups. You're actually working everything together. You're working your quads, your hamstrings, you're working your shoulders. And depending on which exercise you do, it's kettlebells, it's like biceps, it's triceps. Um, you want to target more of your shoulders. You want to do something more like this. Come down, clean, and press. That's another exercise. Well, this takes a certain amount of coordination, so don't expect to do it the first time. It does, right? Yeah, you have to practice. Exactly. You can always start out soft. There's a whole bunch of good things. Just keep the fundamentals down a bit, the basic concepts down, and then you can add it from there, okay? So you're going to come down. Hang on, the curve does shoulder height. There's a lot of things you want to watch for in kettlebells. You always want to watch if you can tear shoulders or back. So you have to be really careful. Make sure you're using the So I just have to be fun, but you always have to make sure it's safe. Okay, let me ask you a few, a few basic questions if I can about exercise in general. Step over how many a little closer. Times a week and for how long if you're trying to build up just a, a better form, better stamina, better, you know, you're not going to be a bodybuilder, but you know, you, you want to stay in shape. The typical rule with that, um, and yeah, everybody's different, it's going to be personal. It depends on, you know, what your goals are, um, you know, what you're looking for, what you're, you know, what you're going to achieve. Um, but you're usually about two days a week for cardio and three days a week for lifting, um, for strength training. And by that I mean maybe, you know, two days walk, two days run, um, three days maybe, you know, lifting weights, free weights, um, hitting the, the local YMCA gym, you know, any of the gyms in your area. It just um, it kind of depends what you're looking for. Kettlebells, or if you want to do the opposite, if you want to do the opposite, you could do three days a week of cardio and two days a week of strength. So okay. there's a couple different options uh, there. People come to the Y and say, help, I don't know what I'm doing. You guys are set up to get them on a program oh, yeah. and to work them through, right? We have lots of good fitness coaches there, instructors, personal trainers, and um, yeah, so we can get you all set up and started on a program to work with you. Um, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, get you started, get the basics going, make sure you're, you know what all the equipment is, and um, 
any questions on classes, you know, I'm there to help you through, and any of the other wives, there's lots of people at all who can help you out. So yeah, don't be afraid. Yeah, come on in and have fun.